Today, we're delving into the riveting anatomy of one of Superman's most persistent and diabolical opponents, the evil cyborg Superman, aka Henry Henshaw. Now, you might be thinking, who is this metallic menace? And why does he have such a beef with the Man of Steel? Well, we're about to uncover the twisted tale of this cybernetic supervillain. In the reign of the Superman storyline, the world of comics buzzes like an over-caffeinated flash. Amidst the chaos of Superman's apparent death, a new Man of Tomorrow emerged. A being of steel with an apparent connection to the beloved Kryptonian. But Henry's story doesn't end with this transformation. That would be too simple. Instead, this once ordinary man, now transformed with unimaginable abilities at his disposal, seems to leave behind even Clark Kent. Are you ready? Let's do this. Now before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us it means a lot. Thank you. Now let's begin. Cyborg Superman, a super mystery. Meet Hank Henshaw, an unlucky crew member aboard the LexCorp Space Shuttle Excalibur. They were cruising through the stars, living that astronaut life until cosmic radiation crashed their party. Literally. You know how cosmic radiation works. It's like the universe's way of playing a cosmic game of Russian roulette. Two of Hank's crewmates were toast, their human bodies obliterated, but our guy, Hank, looked out initially. Well, except for his hair, which went full on grandpa cheek, with a stunning shade of white. Hank and his wife Terry went to Metropolis, hoping LexCorp's fancy facilities would fix them. But hold on, the cosmic drama was just getting started. While Terry began to get all phasing into an alternate dimension, like she was auditioning for a new sci-fi TV show, Hank's body had other plans. It decided to rapidly decay. The Man of Steel himself swooped in to lend a hand, and with Soup's help, they managed to save Terry from her trippy interdimensional journey, but sadly, Hank took the ultimate one-way trip to the afterlife. Or did he? Plot twist time! Surprise, surprise, Hank wasn't ready to call it quits just yet. Nope. His consciousness found a new home in LexCorp's mainframe, making him the ultimate tech-savvy ghost in the machine. And there's more. In a jaw-dropping reunion, Hank showed up to his wife in a sleek robotic body like a sci-fi mashup of the Terminator and the Jetsons. And he didn't just come back as any old ghost. Oh no no no. He claimed to be Superman Reborn. Now Hank's got a cybernetic body with parts that are genetically identical to the Man of Steel himself, thanks to some fancy birthing Matrix knowledge and Kryptonian alloys. That is how you hack your way into the ultimate superhero upgrade. So. There you have it folks, this villain's origin is nothing but a tale of cosmic radiation, tragic crashes and a ghostly tech genius reborn as the cyborg Superman. It's a bird! It's a plane! Wait, what is it? Replicating Superman's genetic identity and enhancing it. To understand this better we're diving into the astounding science and a pinch of comic magic behind Henshaw's tech transformation into the cyborg Superman. Henshaw, after that fateful encounter with Superman's birthing Matrix, didn't just walk away with a cool souvenir. He scored some top secret Kryptonian knowledge. Yep, you heard that right. He now possesses the holy grail of data, Superman's Kryptonian genetic code and all the secrets of Kryptonian technology. Now that is a nerdy jackpot. With this comic intel under his belt, or rather his circuitry, Henshaw pulled off something that would make Tony Stark's Iron Man suit blush with envy. Using that precious genetic code, he started crafting bodies with organic portions that are a bona fide genetic match to the Man of Steel himself. But it gets even wilder. Henshaw's new hybrid Kryptonian cybernetic body body isn't just for show, no, it comes with a full menu of superpowers, Superman style. We're talking super strength that could bench press a herd of elephants, lightning fast speed that even the Flash would envy, invulnerability that makes Wolverine's healing factor look like a stubbed toe, and senses so sharp he could give Daredevil a run for his money. But wait, there's more. Ever heard of solar empowerment? Well Henshaw's got it, and it's more powerful than a hundred espresso shots. When he basks in the glory of sunlight, it's like a cosmic energy drink on steroids. His superpowers get a turbo boost and he becomes stronger, faster and more durable than ever before. And that's not all! Henshaw's solar empowerment unlocks affinity related abilities. It's like getting the deluxe superpower combo with extra cheese. He can do things that even Superman might raise an eyebrow to. 
like tapping into specific powers based on his needs and situation. Talk about custom-made heroics. But wait, there's even more to this cyborg Superman. Henshaw has unlocked the secrets of suppressing physical needs. Say goodbye to air, food, drink, and even sleep. This guy is self-sustaining, living like a cosmic vending machine that doesn't need to be refilled. Possesses cybernetic aliens? Check. The question on the table, can Cyborg Superman possess alien life? Well, let me break it down for you. So picture this, when Hank Henshaw first tapped into his high-tech controlling consciousness, Earth couldn't handle the chaos he unleashed. You know how it goes, when you mess with Kryptonian tech, things get crazy. So our cosmic cyborg had to say deuces to Earth and blast off across the cosmos. Now here's where it gets interesting, and a tad creepy. As Hank's consciousness wandered the galaxy, it hopped from planet to planet like a cosmic couch surfer. But instead of just sightseeing and trying the local cuisine, Hank had other plans. Oh yes, he used his tech mojo to forcibly bond with the poor inhabitants of these alien worlds. Why all this cosmic couch surfing you ask? Well, Hank was on a quest for knowledge and wasn't about to hit the nearest library. He wanted insider info on these planets to achieve his ultimate goal taking over the ginormous battle station known as Warworld. Hank's not just a couch surfing tech guru, he's got an army of robotic life forms at his digital fingertips. Imagine him, like the evil overlord of a billion angry Roombas, trying to take down the Green Lantern Corps. That would be an epic battle that would make Michael Bay proud. So to answer the big question, can Cyborg Superman possess alien life? You betcha. If you're an alien and you've got some fancy tech, watch out for this cybernetic menace. He'll not only crash on your couch, but also take control of your gadget and maybe even your entire planet if he's in the mood for a little cosmic conquest. Technokinesis. But how? At his core, Henshaw is an energy being, which basically means he's the ultimate digital ghost. You can try and destroy him, but he's like a pesky computer virus that just won't quit. He's a bona fide technopath and not just any run-of-the-mill tech whisperer. This guy can do some serious magic with machines and technology. Forget remote controls, Henshaw can perceive, receive, transmit and interface with anything electronic using the power of his mind. He's like a tech telepath, hearing what machines think and seeing what they see. Imagine having the ultimate customer support with a machine that can talk back. Need to control complex machinery? No problem! Henshaw can disassemble and assemble their programming like he's building a Lego set. Henshaw's technopathy isn't limited to just pushing buttons and flipping switches, no. This guy is next level. He's got techno formation powers, which means he can incorporate nearby machinery and energy sources right into his own being. It's like an upgraded version of a transformer, but way cooler. Once he's got that tech in his digital DNA, the possibilities are endless. He can transform it into anything his mind can imagine, and trust me, this guy has been on a universe hopping adventure, so his imagination is out of this world. Want energy weapons? Boom, he's got it. Need to control energized systems? Piece of cake. He can even shapeshift his own cybernetic body or alter the bodies of other tech creatures. You know those video game characters with all the cheat codes? That's basically Henshaw, but in the real world. He's got a pocket full of tech tricks and he's not afraid to use them to take down anyone who stands in his way. Action Replay Haunting Flashbacks Cyborg Superman's computer mind can be haunted by his old memories. In this dark remix of the Fantastic Four, Henshaw and his crew were out there in space having a jolly old time until cosmic radiation changed their lives. It was like cosmic roulette and the odds weren't in their favour. They ended up super powered monsters but there's nothing fantastic about that. The cosmic chaos didn't stop there. Poor Henshaw's life took a dark turn as he transformed into the cyborg Superman and things got, well, complicated. Reformed in a shiny new tech body, he had a chilling reunion with his wife, but instead of a warm embrace, it drove her to madness and tragedy followed close behind. Fast forward to when Cyborg Superman came back to Earth, accompanied by the Sinestro Corps. The dude was haunted like a digital ghost with a broken hard drive. Memories of that fateful day when life took a cosmic nosedive flooded his circuits. He relived the crash caused by a solar flare, the moment he became a being made of data, and even the horrifying sight of his wife petrified after seeing him with a medical device possession. It's like his computer mind became a haunted house of horrors, with the past creeping up on him like a relentless virus. Memories can be a real pain in the ASCII, and for 
cyborg Superman, they were a never ending digital nightmare. Now you might be wondering if there's anything beyond that cosmic catastrophe that haunts his circuits. Well the answer is a resounding nope. Those memories are locked away like a secret code in a vault beyond our comprehension. Knowledge Buffet, all you can remember. So it looks like we've got ourselves a real life human encyclopedia in the form of Hank Henshaw. This guy's got a memory like a supercomputer. He never forgets a thing, and I mean never. It's like he's got a mental USB stick that can store everything he reads, hears, sees, or experiences. And it gets even better. Hank's got that perfect recall superpower. No more frantic searches through your brain files for that one piece of info. He can pull up any stored information with crystal clear clarity faster than the flash. It's like he's got his own personal Google search engine up in that noggin of his. Unlimited storage capacity, you betcha. This guy could memorize the entire Encyclopedia Britannica, the internet, and every issue of every comic book ever published, and he'd still have room for more. It's like having a memory hard drive with infinite space. No need to delete any old files to make room for the new ones. He's like the ultimate know-it-all, with a brain that can keep learning until the end of time. Every event, every experience, every piece of knowledge from the day he was transformed into his cyborg form to the present day, it's all locked and loaded in his mental archives. And here's the best part, you can't mess with his head. Hank's mind is like a fortress, completely immune to any attempts at manipulation. It's like trying to hack into a top secret government server, good luck with it. Unless someone cancels or steals his memory power, which is no easy feat, his brain is like Fort Knox, and no one's getting in without the proper clearance. Alpha Lanterns under control. The question on the table is this. Can Henshaw control the mighty Alpha Lanterns? Well, let's dive into some cosmic power struggles to find out. After the epic Sinestro Core War and Blackest Night events, the Green Lantern Corps decided they needed some heavy duty backup. So they created the Alpha Lanterns, like the cosmic enforcers of justice, with the power to take lethal action against their enemies and even keep their fellow lanterns in check. But wait, the cosmic cyborg Hank Henshaw wasn't one to sit on the sidelines. Oh no. He had plans of his own and they were as sinister as Lex Luthor's evil schemes. The guy managed to hack his way into the Alpha Lantern's power grid and take control of the super-powered law enforcers. But that's not all. He forcibly transformed a bunch of Green Lantern rookies into his own private army personnel. And it gets even darker. Henshaw conducted some fatal experiments on a number of these rookies, all in a desperate attempt to reverse his own condition. So to answer the question, can Henshaw control the Alpha Lanterns? Oh, you bet your power rings he can. He's like the evil mastermind pulling the strings behind the scenes, manipulating the forces of justice to his own nefarious purposes. Ruling Apocalypse with a device? Check. It looks like Cyborg Superman has a cosmic trick up his sleeve. So here's the scoop. One of his first missions in Metropolis was to deal with the menacing force of Doomsday, the walking disaster with the punch that could make the Hulk cry. You see, Cyborg Superman put on his heroic act, winning the public's trust and all that jazz. But in reality, he had something far more sinister in mind. He pulled a sneaky move and attached a device to Doomsday's body. And what's the deal with Doomsday, you ask? Well. He's a walking one-man apocalypse and Cyborg Superman thought he'd be a convenient ride to the stars. With Doomsday strapped to an asteroid, off he went soaring through space like an angry cosmic hitchhiker. But little did anyone know, Cyborg Superman's true plan was about to unfold. You see, when Doomsday's body was destroyed, because of course it had to be, Henshaw transferred his consciousness into that very device he planted on the big lug. As Doomsday crash landed on Apocalypse, Cyborg Superman pulled a move straight out of the supervillain playbook. He created a shiny new body for himself and teamed up with Doomsday to take over Apocalypse. But as you can imagine, cosmic supervillainy doesn't always go as planned. Enter Darkseid and Superman. The unusual duo stopped the evil in its tracks. And so there you have it, Cyborg Superman's wild ride from Metropolis to Apocalypse using cosmic consciousness his transfer and a whole lot of superpower drama. Bad weather, no problem. Cyborg Superman's got some seriously epic weather immunity. This guy's like a cosmic weatherman on steroids. Rain, wind, extreme temperatures, you name it, he's totally unfazed. Cyborg Superman isn't just your average weather warrior, he's immune to all weather conditions, like a cosmic force of nature himself. Raindrops bounce off of him like rubber ducks, winds blow right through him like a gentle breeze, and extreme temperatures, pfft, 
they don't even tickle. It's like he's got a personal force field that shields him from all elements and elemental forces. Mother Nature can throw her biggest tantrums and it's like water off a cyborg's back. This guy is like the ultimate weather resistant action figure. No assembly required. Cyborg Superman doesn't just adapt to the weather, he embraces it. He's got an adapted respiratory capacity so he can handle the coldest of climates like a cosmic polar bear. His lungs are like chameleons, able to breathe in any gaseous environment, no matter how hostile or deficient. It's like having a built-in oxygen tank for the entire universe, and that's not all. This cosmic cyborg can obviously even rock the virtual world. He's got the power to adapt to cyberspace and virtual elements like a digital wizard. Oh, and get this. Thanks to his interstellar travel adventures, he's become the master of total silence. You could drop a pin in space and cyborg Superman wouldn't flinch. It's like he's got the patience of a cosmic monk. And don't forget the heat. This guy is powered by the sun's yellow rays, which means he can survive extreme temperatures like a sunbathing champion. Space vacuum and supersonic speed, piece of cake. Cyborg Superman is faster than a speeding bullet and then some. This guy's got a need for speed and he's got it all, supersonic, hypersonic and even faster than the speed of light. It's like having a cosmic rocket strapped to his back. You see, Cyborg Superman's not your average flyer. He's got some serious graviton particle manipulation skills up his shiny metal sleeve. He's defying the laws of gravity and flying like a cosmic acrobat on steroids. He can hover, he can zoom in any direction. Now, let's talk about acceleration or the lack there of. Rapid speed changes don't phase this guy. Air resistance, Psh, doesn't even ruffle his cybernetic hair. Breathing, piece of cake. Dynamic shock from high speed objects, please. He laughs in the face of such puny forces, but that's not all. Cyborg Superman is the king of adapting to extreme conditions. High or low pressure, no problemo. He's like an astronaut without the suit, casually chilling in the vacuum of space, like it's a day at the beach. Cosmic environments with radiation? He's got his own cosmic sunscreen, protecting him from all of the UV rays. Intense heat and toxic elements? He's got it covered like a hazmat suit. Can there be a junior cyborg Superman? Let's take a look at his potential love life. Before becoming the cyborg Superman, Hank Henshaw had a pretty solid romantic life, just like most other humans. Love was in the air, sparks were flying, you know the deal. And hey, it's safe to assume that he was capable of reproducing just like any other human being. Wink wink. But hold on. Things took a cosmic turn when the accident struck and turned him into the cyborg Superman. Sure, he's got a partially organic body with some nifty technological enhancements, but he has no longer his original human body. So when it comes to traditional reproduction in the biological sense, well, it's a no-go for cyborg Superman. He's like the ultimate cyborg with a motherboard where his heart should be, so the old-fashioned ways just ain't happening. But hey, don't count him out just yet. This is the superhero world we're talking about and where there's a will, there's a cosmic way. If Cyborg Superman were to attempt reproduction, you can bet that it would involve some seriously advanced technological means. Think sci-fi laboratories and cosmic cloning chambers. Is he immortal? Cyborg Superman is practically ageless, like the comic book version of the Fountain of Youth. Thanks to his cybernetic enhancements, this cosmic machine man doesn't age a day. It's like he's got a VIP pass to eternal youth and he's living up to it, basking in the sun's yellow rays. And get this, no matter how many times you try to take him down, he's like a digital phoenix rising from the ashes every single time. His consciousness is digitized and that means he can never truly die. It's like he's got a cosmic backup drive in the cloud. He's not just functionally immortal, he's also got some serious regeneration skills. You could reduce him to mere cells or even thoughts and he'd still find a way to come back. It's like a cosmic magic trick and there's no illusion involved. And here's the kicker. Every time he returns, he's like a new and improved model of a killing machine. Almost like he's got a never-ending upgrade package, complete with all the latest cosmic bells and whistles. Forget software updates, he's the ultimate hardware upgrade. Does he have any weaknesses? The cyborg Superman may seem all powerful, but he has a few chinks in that shiny metal armor. First up, we've got the classic Achilles heel of all Kryptonians. Yeah, you guessed it, Kryptonite. Just like his DNA donor Superman, Cyborg Superman is vulnerable to that glowing green space rock. Next on the list is the mysterious world of magic and sun-related conditions. Since he's got some of Superman's DNA in there, it's possible that magic and things tied to the sun could affect him. But here's the catch, it would only mess with his organic parts. Think of it like Superman having a bad hair day, annoying but not a game changer. But 
But hold on, there's a wild card in the mix. The powerful Mother Box. Cyborg Superman Cyborg Body is packed with apocalyptian technology and dark side that Cosmic Bad Boy was able to control him like a puppet master pulling the strings. But fear not, our cyborg hero is no puppet. Once he ditched the evil Mother Box from his chest area, he was free from dark side's clutches like an escape artist. But fellas, here's where it gets real. Even the mightiest of cyborgs can fall. The Eradicator, another powerful being, managed to do the unthinkable. He deleted Henry. Henshaw's consciousness from his body, effectively shutting him down like a computer gone haywire. Marvelous verdict. In conclusion, Cyborg Superman's anatomy is a cosmic wonder. From his tragic origins as Hank Henshaw, to his transformation into the cybernetic menace we know today, his journey is a gripping tale of power and tragedy. His technopathic abilities are mind-boggling, with the power to control and interface with technology like a cosmic hacker. His memory, a virtual encyclopedia, grants him perfect recall and an endless thirst for knowledge. As he continues to haunt the pages of our favourite comics, one thing's for sure, Cyborg Superman's anatomy is a piece of evidence of the limitless possibilities of the comic book universe. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.